Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Aries the Emperor. Thank you all so very much for joining me on this beautiful day. Welcome to all of the newcomers and to those who are returning. This is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Please take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take what does, leave what does not, and place the gender roles where they need to be for you. This is energy, and energy is all fluid, okay? All right, guys, let's jump right on into it, okay? I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed to the channel thus far. Um, thank you all so much for all of your comments. Um, those who have donated and booked personal readings with me, all readings have been sent out. Okay, so collective. I really just wanted to come on here just to let you know, um, as usual, man, how extraordinary you really are, okay? So much so, when you were born into this world, your DNA was stamped just for you, okay? Nobody else in this world will ever come after you and have your unique genetic makeup. That's why it is always important for you to live through you and not to live through anyone else. You never know what we may need from you and your individuality in this world. Or just think about some of the greats musically. Michael Jackson, there's only one of him. There's only one Whitney Houston, you know, and our leaders. There's only one Martin Luther King. There's only one Nikola Tesla. Justice, Libra Energy bringing justice and balance to the world, bringing their creativity, their harmony, bringing us together with their love and doing it their way, all right? The world card. These are all world figures that I just mentioned here. Thank you, spirit. But they all brought some joy to this world that brought us all together, that taught us something. All right, or it's something that we still use to this day. You know, we still use the inventions of Nikola Tesla. You know, we still vibe to Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson. All right, we still listen to the messages of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. And imagine had they not been themselves. Imagine had they been a follower in the crowd knowing that God himself was speaking messages down through them. Imagine had they been afraid to open up their mouth and use their voice. I know it's not always easy to be yourself, especially when you feel so different and you feel like an outcast or maybe where you're from, people don't get down the way you get down or understand the things that go on inside of your brain, but that doesn't make you any less, any less than anybody. Queen of Swords energy. You have a right to be here, to stand in your power, to speak your truth, just like the rest of these motherfuckers. You have something to offer to this world. We were all given gifts. We all have them. You just got to unlock that shit. It's in you. Trust me. It's in there. You know, I have my own personal struggles. And sometimes, you know, shit, nothing is never really what it seems in life. But as long as God is continuing to wake you up and breathe air in and out of your body, then you owe it to him, man, just to get up and at least try. Got the princess of swords here, you know, 
That's the least you can do. Don't take any of this for granted. And just know that the power is always in you and it's never going to be around you. Or you're never going to find it looking at those around you. Queen of Swords. Because you have the power. Who knows? Your gift might change the world. Nine of Pentacles. But you got to live in your individuality. Nobody has colors on them like the peacock. And the peacock spreads them. And it is so beautiful. It's just mesmerizing to look at. And the peacock just walks out into nature in its own lane, you know, just as big and bright and colorful and prosperous. This is you, Collective. I want to see you out there. And when you do blow up, you make sure you come back and, and don't forget about your girl. Say hi or say something, you know. We got the Six of Swords because you are moving forward into karma water. Someone here is Three of Wands expanding their horizons. A lot of this shit is mental. If you can conquer your fears mentally up here, hey, then sh the sky's the limit for you. You're already a flaming ball of energy. Once you get the mental, queen of wands, you're unstoppable. You can rise to any fucking occasion. Thank you, spirit. Your greatness is undeniable. Your truth deserves to be heard. Four swords. Just be yourself. Be be at peace with that and know that you are good enough and what you have to offer is more than good enough. Eight of Pentacles. You are your own master. You know, this is your show. I can't make this up. The Magician. You are your own master. This is fucking awesome. Thank you, Spirit. Anything you want to manifest, whether it be small or something major, you want to put an impact on this world collective, it's in you to do it. You know, you are one of the greats. We're just waiting on you to pull that magic up out of you and introduce it to the world. I'd love to, I'd love to hear it. Love to see it, okay? Look at this. Moving forward into victory. Sky's the limit, collective. I'm going to leave your reading here. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. And I'll catch you later. Ciao.